Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl princess and I'm back again with another video. It's my very first mukbang, mukbang, however you say it. I'm so excited. People have been asking me for so long to film a mukbang um, and I'm here to do it today. I'm, I'm starving and I'm ready to do it. <laughs> if you're not subscribed to my channel, um, I'll give you a second to do that. You subscribe? All right, nice. Um, welcome to the family. I'm gonna have to come up here to show you guys the food. <laughs> All right, so I ordered from Applebee's and oh my God, this looks so good. This looks so good and it smells even better. I'm so excited. <laughs> I'm such a foodie y'all. Okay, so it's called the Loaded Trio Fajitas um, and it's chicken. It's chicken, shrimp, um, there's rice. Um, I think that's, not sure if that's beef or pork, but yeah, and it has bacon on top of it as well. Um, and then along with that, ooh, okay. I got like cheese on the side. And I think this is like, just some like add-ons, like lettuce, tomato. Um, and then I got guac as well, and I think they gave me bread, they gave me bread, gave me bread, <laughs> I'm sorry, that's an inside joke, oh, these are the, tor <laughs> these are the tortillas that come along with the, um, with the food, <laughs> um, and then for dessert, I thought I didn't order this, I thought I canceled it, but it's like an ice cream sundae, so I'm gonna go ahead and put it right in the freezer, so it doesn't melt like while I'm eating and I'll be right back. <laughs> all right, so I finally got this all set up 20 hours later and I'm ready to do the mukbang. And my phone is blowing up with questions cause I asked, I took to Instagram and I asked people to ask me questions to do for my mukbang. Um, all right, so I'm just gonna start by, um, doing my little fajita thing and like filling that. Damn. Oh my God. I got like 20 questions. Some of them from the same people, but. Got some orange juice. I was gonna get soda, but like, I've been drinking soda for the past four or five days. I would say like two or three days straight. So I'm not doing soda. Um. But yeah. Oh, this guac smells really good, like really fresh. I know they gave me a fork in the bag. I know they gave me a fork in the bag. All right. Oh yeah, it's right here. Alrighty. I'm so excited to do this video. And I hope that y'all can actually see me because it's very hard to get the food in the picture and my face, so I'm kind of like, slouching a little bit, but it's all good. All right, so let's get into the first question. I'm going to Instagram right now to see what you guys are asking. Okay, so <laughs> first question. Um, where do you get your clothes from? I love that question. That's a very good question. I get my clothes from like a lot of different places. I make sure they're like really affordable though. Like, I shop at stores like Boohoo. I got this top from Shein. I'm not, I'm not like a huge fan of Shein because stores like Shein and Romway, or Romwe, however you say that, their stuff is like mad cheap, but when it comes to you, it low key doesn't fit. Boy, if you don't get. Cause I've ordered from Shein and Romwe so many times and like the pieces that I got from there just didn't didn't fit at all. So I'm not a huge fan of those like like Chinese based stores that come from like all the way from China. Um but I noticed that like my favorite stores are like UK based. They're UK based stores like Boohoo, Misguided. Pretty little thing. 
I'm gonna go get a plate. So yeah, like I was saying, woohoo, pretty little thing, misguided. Um, where else do I like to shop? Um, the little thing. Fashion Nova, definitely. I feel like, like 90% of my closet is like Fashion Nova clothing. And that's only because Fashion Nova was really the only, like the first brand or store to have jeans that would fit girls like, shaped like me. Like I'm shaped, the way I'm shaped is I'm like skinnier on the top or I'm slimmer on the top. And then I have like wider hips and like a bigger butt. And I felt like it was so hard to find like stores that really cater to like that body type, especially for jeans. So before Fashion Nova, like I would never, ever, 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 ever shop for jeans online ever. And even when Fashion Nova like first became like a thing, I was so skeptical, like so, so skeptical. I was like, this stuff is not gonna fit me. Like, I don't know why I'm even like bothering to do it. And then I was like, let me put my doubt aside. And I ordered jeans from them once. And they didn't fit, but I knew they were like the, the right, like they had the right idea. They had the right idea. Cause like it fit where it needed to fit. It's just, they were too small for me. And I can take like too small. I can't take like, you got the, like the figure all wrong. I can't take that. So I didn't give up and I tried again, ordered from them, ordered like a larger size in the jeans and they fit. I should probably get a paper towel because this is going to be really messy. Um, but yeah, Fashion Nova is a goat. <laughs> I don't know why people love mukbangs. Like for some reason, humans like to watch other humans eat. <laughs> um, I do the same thing, like I watch mukbangs, or I used to at least. But like, I can't watch them without like having food around, cause like, I'll get super hungry. But yeah, those are the stores that like, take my coins, those are the stores that take my money. So where do you buy your makeup? I buy my makeup from, hmm, who do I buy my makeup? Mostly Sephora. Mm -mm 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 -mm. This is so messy. All right, so I got some Red Hot Wings um, Buffalo Sauce from Frank's. And then I have this um, chili garlic sauce that like I'm almost out of. If you know me, you know I love like spice in all my food. And then I have to get tissue because I don't have paper towel, like don't judge me. If you know me, you know that like I can't eat my food without like some sort of pepper sauce or like hot sauce or whatever. So yeah. But where was I? Um, Good. Anyone else dance when they like are having some really good food? Or am I the only person? I don't know why the hell I'm wearing a white top to do a mukbang, knowing that this is gonna get dirty because I eat like a child. All right, so like, we're on the question of where do I buy my makeup? So I said Sephora. Sephora is really the plug. Like, I'm not gonna lie, they're pretty pricey. But the thing I like about Sephora is that they have like sample sizes. You could go in whenever you want and like try out makeup before you actually buy it. And I really love that. Cause like, you don't have to spend all your money on something that's not gonna be good for you or not gonna work with your skin. 
Yeah, I'm so hungry. Like literally starving. So yeah, I got my makeup from Sephora. But like if you're interested in like the specific brands, because Sephora carries different brands. The brands are like Fenty Beauty, Forever Beauty, um, and NYX. I really love NYX. NYX is really good. When was the first time you used makeup? Was it good? <laughs> so I've always loved makeup for some reason. I've just always loved makeup. Even before, um, even before um, college, like I've always loved makeup, but I just wasn't allowed to wear it. If y'all see me dancing, it's cause like this food is so good. Oh, <laughs> um, my friends are literally so supportive. One of them was like, "Let me know if you need background music for your mukbang." So sweet. Shout out Anaya. He's real dope with the beats. Go check him out on Instagram. I'm gonna shout him out. His Instagram name is low underscore pg so l-o-e underscore pg go listen to his beats <laughs> so the first time i used makeup was probably like my sophomore junior year in high school but like the products i used were really shitty they're really bad like most of them were like my sisters so like my sister's darker skin so most of her makeup doesn't like match with my skin tone so I can only like pick select things like lip liner, lip gloss, lipstick, stuff like that. <clears throat> but in terms of like use, use makeup, like when did you become good at makeup? I would say at the very ending of my senior year in high school. I say that because I had like all that time to like experiment with makeup when I wasn't really allowed to. And I really didn't get my first like foundation that was fit to me until like junior year, like for junior year prom. And then I got like my first like high end bottle. Like my first real foundation was like from Sephora, it was like the Fenty Beauty. Um, foundation that I still have and still use today so if you think about it like I didn't start makeup like a very long time ago and I'm good at it because I like it to warm my food up so I'm back so I turned the lights down a little bit just to see if like the lighting would be better and I think it is hopefully it looks just as good like when I watch this video all over but yeah it looks pretty good okay I'm on to the next fajita there's four of them and I'm already full so so the next question <clears throat> is, do you plan on moving out to LA where all these YouTubers be at? Huh? <laughs> huh? Um, I am nowhere near moving to any LA. Like what? I feel like in order to move to LA, you need to be very stable and like I remember I met um, Jesse Wu once 
on campus and she was like, she went to LA and she didn't have that much money and ended up like having to live in her car or some, or some stuff like that. And she was like, if you're gonna go to LA, you need to make sure that you have at least $10,000 like in your bank account or you're not gonna make it. Um, I feel like if I were to get like some sort of success on this thing, <laughs> um, I would need to, like the criteria to move to LA would be obviously finishing with college cause like I have a few years left and I wouldn't just up and leave just for like a career that could like end in a second. So being smart that way and I think I overfilled this fajita, but whatever. Um, but yeah, I wouldn't just leave because I'm in college. Also, I'd have to make sure that like I had a whole like team of like legit people to back me up, like managers and stuff like that. And I was actually like signed to like a I don't I'm not sure what they're called, but like creators um, agency or whatever that's called basically like management. So I'd have to be signed to them and they'd have to be located in LA to actually go there. Like how you going to LA, you don't know anybody. Like to live in LA, how you going and you don't know anybody. That's wild. Um, yeah, so those are like my criteria for ever thinking of going to LA on the lines of like YouTube. <laughs> it's a very, very long way. <laughs> mm -mm -mm -mm. If you could choose someone to sponsor you, who would you want to sponsor you? That's a very good question. That's a question that like aligns with like what we just talked about, the last question. Hold on. Mm. Like my biggest dream would be to be sponsored by like a huge company, huge company like Nike or whatever. Um, and do like a commercial for them. I don't know like along what lines I think that's possible, but that would be pretty cool. Or, or a makeup company like Maybelline. Um, or even do like, hmm, Maybelline. It would be so dope if I could be sponsored by um, Fenty Beauty and be in like the commercials, that would be so dope. <laughs> but in terms of um, sponsorships, it, like those would be my ideal sponsorships. Any sponsorship really is kind of cool because like a company kind of notices you and they're like, you would be a good fit for our brand and to represent our brand. And that's a very positive thing and I, I like that a lot. Um, I did have a sponsorship um, in the very beginning of the semester with Forever Beauty Hair, which was like a tremendous opportunity. Um, they like noticed me and asked me to like review their hair and I did. Next question. I love this question. What's your go-to color and shape for nails when you don't have something in mind? I have my nails done right now. I don't know if you guys can see. It'll focus. I have my nails done right now. Um, my go-to nails would be like, obviously coffin shape because I'm not a huge fan of like the square nails. My mom likes those, but I'm not a huge fan of it. So like medium length coffin nails coffin shape nails um and like this is definitely my go-to color like the baby baby doll pink or like any nude color i think i have to have a very specific like look in mind if i'm gonna pick a bright color and it has to be like summertime mm -mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm -mm. The next question is, do you have any tattoos? If so, where? If not, would you get one and where? I love, I literally love all these questions. Literally love all these questions. Like I have definitely thought about getting a tattoo. I always wanted like an anchor. 
or like a crown because my name is princess um but like an anchor on like the side of my arm right here inside my hand because anchors like we all know are used to like hold ships down and the ship is obviously like a thousand times bigger than the anchor but the anchor still is able to hold the ship down so just like something to symbolize like to always stay grounded and always know that like even though your battles and like what you're going through in life or like what you're dreaming of doing may be a thousand times bigger than you you can still hold those dreams down and you can still hold those goals down and succeed so i would i always wanted an anchor like on the side of my arm my hand an anchor and a crown i also think like tattoos like right here like if i were to get one i'd get one right here like i would i don't i don't think i'd get one here because i feel like it would hurt like crazy but i would get something probably in arabic like whenever i get like writing in anything i make sure it's like you know different language because like i don't want people to know what it says like on first sight like even my name necklace my name chain it's like it's in arabic um and it says amira and mira and amira is princess in arabic um so yeah you're not just gonna look at my necklace and it says princess and you know what my name is um, oh, I also thought about getting like a phoenix, like the, the bird, in the same spot, um, instead of the anchor. So, so a phoenix in Greek mythology is a bird that flies close to the sun and gets burned. And it's sort of like born again and does the same exact thing each and every time. That symbolizes like defeat and getting over defeat and being burned and losing but still rising to that same spot fighting to rise higher than where you were last time and that's very powerful to me so I also thought of getting a phoenix all right I'm on my third fajita I'm feeling kind of full, <laughs> but I can go some more. Um, if anything, I'll leave like one of them for later, probably for dinner, because it's only like three o'clock right now. Mm. My candle was lit, it's not lit anymore. I'm gonna light that back up. Cause I'm feeling bougie, you know. Next question is, what made you realize you wanted to do YouTube? Hmm. That's very easy. So, like, growing up, we would never go to, like, vacations or anything. We would never go on vacations because, like, we just didn't have the money. So, I remember every summer I would be home, like, not doing anything. And I'd take to YouTube. I'd just go on YouTube and, like, start watching videos and stuff of other people's lives and, like, what they were doing. <laughs> sort of live through them um but yeah that's how like my passion for youtube sort of started like i was so excited to watch other people's lives and what they were doing and what they were saying and had to say and like in high school i don't know i've always wanted to like be a creator like i've always been in love with math and science and stem in general but there's also always this part of me that loves stuff like makeup, that loves like, like I wanted to be a fashion designer like when I was little. So stuff like that, I felt like sort of led me into wanting to do YouTube. Now y'all gonna figure I eat like a slob. <laughs> So yeah, I finally realized that I wanted to do YouTube in high school. And I remember, I used to be the manager for the basketball team. And I asked the coach for like their tripod that I used to like film them, film practices and games and stuff like that. And he was like, okay. 
so he let me use the tripod and I started like recording my videos in my room but the lighting was just horrible everything was really bad and mind you I was starting off with like makeup videos like you know you need good um, lighting when you're doing makeup videos but I didn't have that so my videos are like very shitty but I really didn't care at the time I was just like whatever I would do my videos <laughs> People don't know, but like my videos are still up. They're just like on private, so you guys can't watch them. <laughs> They're only for like, um, like for me, like to realize how much I've grown, I guess. But they're on there somewhere on my channel, but you guys can't see them. Well, like as I grew older and started like using Instagram and other like social media platforms, my desire to do YouTube definitely increased because like there was so much more going on in the world of YouTube. I got connected back to Instagram and stuff like that. And all my favorite YouTubers were on Instagram. And then all my favorite Instagrammers started to go get YouTube accounts. And I was like, oh, like make YouTube channels. And I was like, oh, yeah, this is it. <laughs> and then the absolute last question is, What's your ethnicity and where did you grow up? So I'm West African. I was born in the Ivory Coast. My family's from Liberia, so I'm West African. Um, both of my parents are Liberian. I was born in the Ivory Coast. So I'm Ivorian and Liberian. Um, obviously I'm African, <laughs> I'm black. Um, and then I grew up in Hartford, Connecticut. I lived in Africa for a little while and then migrated to the United States and I've always lived in Hartford, Connecticut, so yeah. I have some food left and a tortilla left, but I'm gonna save that for later on. I could never finish my food because the portions are always like so good like so much thank you guys for tuning into this video thank you so much for your support and again make sure you subscribe if you aren't already I would highly appreciate that um give this video a huge thumbs up and if you liked it and shout out to Juan for like supplying like a lot of questions for this video I really appreciate that um yeah make sure to subscribe and I love you guys Stay. I don't want to say. I want to have like a little outro because I feel like most of my favorite YouTubers have like outros. Like I know I am Zoe. He says um, you can't stay with me unless you're pretty on purpose. <laughs> um, but definitely in the future, like I have to like have a name for my subscribers and stuff like that. But for now, we're just gonna do the crown symbol. Um, just a reminder to always stay. I'm beautiful, confident, and realize that you're a queen. So I'll see you guys later. Bye. <laughs>